intense cramping and bleeding yesterday. Okay, the bleeding wasn't super intense, but the cramping was extremely intense. Um, so I was a little bit worried about that. I was at my mom's house, um, took my kids up there to hang out, and uh, I just started cramping really bad, um, went to use the bathroom, and um, started bleeding. So I was pretty stressed out about that. I was hoping that it was just like pocket of blood, like a subchorionic hemorrhage, um, but kind of fearing that, you know, the worst that I had was uh, miscarrying. So I let my I, IPs know, and then we quick did, um, we called the reproductive center and did an ultrasound. So um, today I am six weeks exactly. So our ultrasound was scheduled for seven weeks, but we did one because of the bleeding and everything. And um, baby looked so good. She was she was good. So it was just a subchorionic hemorrhage. It's a large one. Um, so that's a little bit, uh, it, it's a little bit worrying, but, um, but yes, uh, most, we were told that most IVF pregnancies have subchorionic hemorrhage. Um, and I learned, I didn't know what, how it really happened or what, but I learned that a subchorionic hemorrhage is when I guess the baby implants and then, um, detaches and re-implants somewhere else. Um, the, so I guess there can be like a pocket of blood that kind of pools right there. So I don't really know why it would do that. Maybe just better place to implant. So there is a increased risk of miscarriage with subchorionic hemorrhage, but it's not a major, um, increased risk. Um, and really I just need to take it slow, kind of just not lift heavy things, not do a lot of, um, intense stuff probably shouldn't get back to working out quite yet and um i'm and lots of people say to go on like pelvic rest which i wasn't told to by my doctor but i probably will kind of just do that anyway just because i can imagine that it would aggravate the um subchorionic hemorrhage and maybe make the bleeding worse so um i just wouldn't want to chance that right now so i'll probably put myself on pelvic rest until further notice um, but yes, so that's where we're at right now. I was so happy to see her. Her heartbeat was great. She was growing. Awesome. She measuring two days big. So that was awesome. And it was a relief to see, um, me and my, I am, she got to be at the ultrasound, uh, with me. So, um, as we were walking in, I was, you know, of course I was nervous, but I was like, weirdly, I feel really calm and okay about this. And she said, weirdly me too. Um, because at that point we didn't know what was going on. We just knew I was bleeding and cramping and, and that, that, that the subcurrent hemorrhage was a possibility, but you just never know. So, but we went in and it sure enough, everything was good and okay. So I'm just hoping that my body can resolve that and, um, baby can just stay comfy and cozy and happy in there. So I'll let you guys know, um, how my seven week appointment goes and, um, but I'm really excited. I hope that she's still growing great and everything is good. But I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I didn't know if I would have time to make a video any other time today. So I'm just parked right now. I'm gonna make this quick video. So we just had our seven week ultrasound. Everything was great. Baby was measuring perfectly on to the day. So that was huge relief. Um and heartbeat was awesome. It was 150. Six, I want to say something like that. <laughs> um, anyway, so really good. Uh, and I still have the bleed up in my uterus, so um, not great, but uh, I said as long as I just kind of take it easy, don't do any he heavy lifting, stuff like that, probably still no working out, um, then it should be all right. And if I have even a little bit of spotting or anything like that, then I should come in or call them and let them know. Um, but everything with the baby looked great. So my uterus could, you know, do a little bit of work, could do a little bit better, but, um, the baby was great. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. Cause I'm so relieved it going in for ultrasounds is just whew, anxiety for me. I mean, I feel fine the rest of the week. I feel, you know, like a regular pregnant person until it comes to ultrasound day. I'm like, 
I'm really excited to see the baby, but it's also very stressful because, you know, PTSD, just all the other times that it wasn't so great. Um, so anyway, just want to update you guys on that because I am so happy. Um, just relieved, honestly, that's, that's more the word that I'm looking for, but I will let you guys know we have another ultrasound next week for eight weeks and I'll let you guys know how that one goes. Bye. We just finished the eight week ultrasound and everything looks awesome. My um, subchorionic hemorrhage, the bleed in there, it looked like it was clotting up and kind of hopefully um, going away. And the baby is great, measuring right on track. Her heartbeat was awesome. You could see her, I'll post some pictures of her. I mean, again, still she's so little that it's almost like, what am I looking at? But yeah, it's still exciting because you can see growth, but. Yes, I am very happy and I have another appointment next week. Nine week ultrasound and I am feeling a little less nervous this time, but I'm still nervous. So we'll see how today goes, hopefully good. I have had um, spotting this week a couple of times, but nothing too crazy. It was literally just a little bit of like, wake up with a little bit of like brown um, discharge or something, blood, old blood or something in my pad. So nothing too crazy, but there has been that. So hopefully it was nothing, but I'll let you guys know. So we did my nine week appointment yesterday and it was so fun to see the ultrasound. She was moving around a ton. I'll put a little clip of that because it was super cute. Um, but yeah, so everything went really good. I officially graduated from the fertility center. So I'm no longer a patient there. Uh, I stopped my med ne meds next week. So that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I'll keep updating you guys. I'll put pictures and videos and um, I'll just keep letting you know what's going on. I've been doing them more like um, every month because I feel like the videos have been too short to upload and just, I don't know, I guess I could do it every month, but I hope my kids are turning my lights on and off. Um, but yeah, so the videos are just kind of short. So I'm like, ah, I'll just wait and put them all together and do like once a month. But anyway, I'll keep updating you guys on how everything's going, but so far so good. Oh, I think we went around. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, look at her feet. Is that her foot? I have feet nerves. Oh my gosh. Oh. Can they sense the ultrasound? They probably, because it's sound waves, so oh, they okay. probably can hear it a little bit, maybe. Like waking me up. Yep. Oh my all over. She's really moving. Look at her. Oh my god. Oh wow. Are those her little fingers? Uh huh. Is it her mouth by her head? This is the best. She might have the hiccups. Happy day, my last progesterone shot ever. Okay, maybe not ever, but for this. Pregnancy, my last progesterone shot. Mom.